I want my veggies grown all natural. No pesticides the way God intended it. And that's what this farmer promises. Now, I didn't see him use any chemicals on his farm, but then again, I never really saw him growing anything on his farm either. This is Farmer Bill selling his bountiful crop. You grow all your own stuff? I do. Bill's not just a farmer, he's a super farmer. We grow about 40 different kinds of eggplant. Impressed? Wait till you hear about his tomatoes. I grow, I do grow 280 different varieties. Yep, Farmer Bill puts the other growers at the neighborhood farmer's market to shame. One, because he's a famous farmer. Two, because he says he grows everything with no pesticides. Do you use chemicals or anything? I do not. Wow, this guy must be working the fields from sun up to sundown. But wait a minute, what's Farmer Bill doing in the middle of the night buying hundreds of pounds of produce? Poor Farmer Bill, he's gonna get plowed right into the hall of shame. I've come out here and I've seen you do your sales pitch and you tell people that it's all chemical free, tell people that it's grown on your own farm, and I've also seen you out at Eastern Market loading up your van full of vegetables. He knows what he's doing, but he's taking an easier way out. This is Rich. Rich worked with Farmer Bill, real name William Peock, a master gardener who teaches others how to grow like a pro. But Rich says he and Farmer Bill didn't do much farming. They did a lot of selling, selling Bill's supposed crops at local farmer's markets. What you're supposed to say is it's all naturally grown, no chemicals, it's all grown in Lapeer. That's the home of Bill's farm, nature's heirlooms. Being a farmer is a lot of hard work, preparing the soil, planting the seeds, growing and picking the crop. I gotta tell you, this is one impressive farm, but this isn't Bill's farm. This is Bill's farm. We're the 280 varieties of tomatoes, the 40 different kinds of eggplant, the corn. The place looks deserted. Rick says Bill doesn't get his produce from his farm in Lapeer. He gets it from Detroit, downtown Detroit, at the Eastern Market at 1 a.m. That's when the trucks unload the same fruits and vegetables sold at the supermarket. And sure enough, there's Farmer Bill buying vegetables by the crate, handing over cash. You might expect the farmer to have a pickup truck, not Bill. Crates of crops are loaded in the back of Farmer Bill's minivan. A few days later, here's Farmer Bill pulling his freshly picked harvest out of a garage before the Milford Farmer's Market. Some of these tomatoes I've been growing for saving the seeds for almost 30 years. Bill's customers seem pretty serious about getting stuff straight off the farm. Wonderful that you're growing those. Okay, now the corn, what do we know about the corn? Are these anything in particular, anything great? It's not genetically modified. Huh? It's not genetically modified. Get out. <laughs> Grow all your own stuff? I do. It's, we'll have a dozen it, it, doesn't, of these. it doesn't have any sprays on it. We'll have a dozen of these. <laughs> that I can tell you. my language. You can, you can pick up anything on this table, take a bite out of it, and not worry about it. <laughs> well, let's see about that. We buy some of Farmer Bill's veggies and take them to Brighton Labs to be tested. A few days later, the results are in. We found uh, chlorothalonil on these samples. Okay, and what is that? It's a type of fungicide. Fungicide, the kind big farms spray to ensure a bountiful crop. It's a chemical, right? Yes, it's a chemical. And is this a, it, would, would it be classified as a toxin? Yes. I approach Bill at the next farmer's market. You grow all this stuff yourself? I do. You do? I do. Where are you growing at? Up in Lapeer, Michigan. Yeah? You got, yeah. Uh, you got a farm up there? I do. And you grow all this yourself, huh? I grow all huh? this myself. Hmm. I do, I do. And uh, you use chemicals or anything? I do not. No use chemicals, chemicals, huh? I do not use chemicals. Well, let me tell you, Bill. My name's Rob Walchak. I work at Fox 2. I tested some of your vegetables. You did? Yeah, and it came out positive for uh, chlorothalonil. 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 You're a farmer, you know. It's a or fungicide. Thalidol. Yeah, yeah, I know what it is. Yeah. Well, how would uh, how would they get on these vegetables you grew? Well, I don't know. Yeah? Uh, some vegetables I do get from other farmers. Gee, Farmer Bill, let's go way back to 46 seconds ago when you told me you grew all this stuff yourself. You grew all this stuff yourself? I do. I do have some stuff from other farmers. My corn comes from another farmer. I do occasionally get tomatoes from other farmers. I occasionally get beets from a guy in... in um, 
in uh, Romeo. Did you ever go to like Eastern Market to get things? Occasionally. Well, why did you say that you grow this on your farm though? Your farm doesn't have anything growing, does it? My farm right now is fallow because of diseases last year. Diseases? You might want to rethink that whole chemical-free thing, Bill. Grow all your own stuff? I do. Farmer Bill, two green thumbs way down. Hey, Farmer Bill, I'm planting you in the Hall of Shame. Farmer Bill told me he uses another farmer's land to grow some of his vegetables. Bill says he pays to use that land. I went to that farmer's property and he told me Bill doesn't pay him anything. He does allow Bill to grow a few things there. Actually, he says Farmer Bill tries to grow things, but that he's just starting out. I told him that I suspected Bill was just buying produce at Eastern Market and selling it at local farmer's markets. He told me flat out, that's what Farmer Bill does.